All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 24 minus 1. So, for my solution, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2 minus 1. So all I did was I rewrote 24 as 12 times 2. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And now 1, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12 and b is 1. So I get 2 to the power of 12 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 1. Now from here, we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 12. Well, 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024. So this means that 2 to the power of 11 is equal to double of 1024, which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12 is equal to double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I have 4096 plus 1 times 4096 minus 1. 4096 plus 1 is 4097 and 4096 minus 1 is 4095. Now how would I solve this? Well what most people would do is try to solve this by using the basic multiplication method but this takes way too long. So a better way to solve this is actually to rewrite this as 4,000 plus 97 times 4,000 plus 95. Now because 4,000 has so many zeros in it, it's much easier to solve this problem. So I'm going to be solving this problem by distributing. Or what I can also do, which is an easier method, is to rewrite 4,097 as 4,100 minus 3 times 4100 minus 5. And this is also another way to rewrite this, this time subtraction instead of addition. But now notice how we have 3 times 5, which is much easier to solve than 97 times 95. So now I'm going to distribute my 4100. So I get 4100 squared minus 5 times 4100. And then now I have minus 3 times 4,100 minus 3 times negative 5. So now 4,100 squared is equal to 41 squared plus 4 zeros. 41 squared is 1,681. So I'm just going to add four zeros to the end there. And then minus five times 4,100, I can just say this is five times 41, which is 205, and then add two zeros. Minus three times 4,100, which is one, 123, and I can add two zeros. Minus three times negative five, which is positive 15. So now from here, I get 16,810,000 minus 20,500 minus 12,300, which is equal to negative 32,800 plus 15. Now, a negative number plus a positive number is the same thing as 30, 32,800 minus 15, 
which is 32,785. So now I have 16,810,000 minus 32,785. And this is equal to, I'm actually going to write this like this. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 2 is 7, 10 minus 3 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7, and then I have 6 and 1. So 16,787,125 is my final answer to this problem.